Hey up everybody, I'm moving on to the next part of my pipe work videos now and I'm going to cover the bypass valve and the axle pump because they're like, uh, they're all part of, part of the same system. And I'm, I'm putting my bypass valve in a different position to where it normally is on Sweet Pea and I'll, I'll go over to Loco and I, I'll show you that in real life when I've just briefly explained everything for any beginners. I'm only a beginner myself, so I'm only learning all this myself. So, the, basically then, that's the drawing for your bypass valve. I've done that in a separate video if you need to see it. Uh, I'll put a link up to that. And I've also done the axle pump in a separate video. So, I'll put a link to that as well. So, what does it do then, this bypass valve? Well, Normally on the sweet pea it's on the other side of the loco and the valve rod with the handle on is vertical and then the valve sits under the cab floor that's under a normal on a normal sweet pea I think well it is in the book anyway well I'm going to put mine in the tank and then I'm going to have the valve the the valve rod come through the cab with the handle on the outside of the cab so it's easy to get to to work. I've also had to make this offset T to divide the pipe work up so that's not a normal T like you would normally get. I've, I've made it like offset because it's in. I wanted to go in a certain position where my pipe works go. So I'll just briefly explain then what happens here. You've got your water in your tank and it's continuously being fed from the bottom of the tank up to the pump. The pump is only pumping while the loco's moving. So while it's pumping then, and while it's moving, the water's going to come through the pump and it's going to feed the boiler clack valve to fill the boiler up. So that's with the bypass valve in the closed position. That's when it's feeding the clack and the boiler. So when the boiler gets full of water, you've obviously got to have some method of stopping that water going in. So this is where the by bypass valve comes into play. So what you do then, you open your valve up, and then water, because there's 80 pound of pressure on the boiler, Water's then going to find the least resistance and stop going in the boiler and go up this pipe freely through the valve and back into the tank. And that's where it's going to be continuously doing while ever the valve's open. Fed into the pump, up through the pipe, through the valve, back into the tank. Close your valve off, then that's going to stop the water going up there and then it's going to feed the boiler to the clack valve. Right, so under, under normal circumstances the bypass valve normally sits in the cab somewhere in this position with the handle, the control handle coming up like that and then it fits underneath the cab and then you take your pipe work from, from this position up to your tanks and your pump. Right, so what I'm doing then, I've got the valve in the tank and it's the rod, the control rod's coming through the cab right through the cab to the outside so I can work it from the outside here. There's the pump down on the axle in between the frame there and this is the offset T that I've made so I'm going to I'm going to pipe from the top of the pump that's the outlet side up to this T then I'm going to have another pipe coming out the other side of the T here under the way shaft up to my clack valve there I'll also have a pipe coming from the tank which is going to feed the bottom 
that's going to go into the bottom of the actual pump. So that's one pipe, two pipes, that's three pipes. Then the other pipe is going to come up from the offset T, up vertical, somewhere in that position where my finger is. It's going to follow the blower pipe down there up to the elbow in the tank there and then that elbow is connected to my valve I've put another little elbow on the other side of the valve there and that's going to have a piece of 3 16 pipe coming across here to where the filler cap is on my tank so I can then see the water returning to the tank then I know my pump's working and that's basically it really. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to, I'm going to make these four pipes just like I've made my, um, in my other videos, my hand pump pipes and my blower pipe pipes and then we'll reconvene and we'll have a look at them, uh, how they're going to fit. I've got all my union nuts, nipples, T-piece, elbow, all ready now. I've got the pipe. I've managed to get all the pipes made now, so I'll go over to Loco and try to fit these on. So that's, that one's going to the um, axle, axle pump. That one's going to the tight valve, and that one's going to the bypass valve. Then I've got this one is going from the from the tank feed from the tank to the bottom of the actual pump That's the bypass valve and the axle pump all fitted now. All I've got to do now is put a pipe into the bypass valve outlet just to bring it here and then um, it'll terminate with my filler cap is. Okay, that's it for this part. I think I'll go on to the balance pipe next. So I'll do that in my next video, I think. So uh, I'm going to sign off for now then. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now.